I am a entrepreneur. I am a mother. I am a wife. And I am somebody who loves Africa and health. I was a lawyer in New York City. I worked about 150 hours a week as an assistant district attorney for the Manhattan DA's office. I prosecuted over maybe 2,000 cases. But what happens with that is that's 2,000 people. And I think that after a while that started to affect me. I had every stress-related disorder. But I decided that after doing uh, yoga and practicing for over 25 years, that I could actually use the tools to help me heal and be a better professional. So coming to Africa, coming to Ghana, most people were not really interested in me as a lawyer. They wanted to know how I could help them. And as an advocate for people, for children, for health, it just was natural. I've lived all over the world. I've been the sometimes other in those environments. And I think what it teaches us is that you have to have perspective and you have to understand how people see you. When you open your mouth, when you share your story, you can alter people's ideas around who you are. So as an African woman, I speak a lot. And I feel like wherever I go, when I share my story, people expand. We own our story. And if we own our story and we're allowed to share it in a certain way, we're able to educate people. So as an African woman, that is definitely a challenge. Um, and I think that the more I speak, even here, the more you understand that my environment, my culture is beautiful, it's strong, it's sophisticated, um, it's Africa. As I try, I jump. I think we all in life should continue to enable ourselves to go with fear, to jump in, and just to try. And so I hope that I inspire people to continue to jump right in.